Well, hello, hello, and welcome back. I'm Claire. This is Purple Poppy, and today is the um, Marguerite Miller Collage day, where we add a new page to our book. So, last week was this black, white, and bright, bright uh, vibrant red. Today is a little more subtle, so we need thread or fabric. Well, I've got this cotton. Um, it's green, quite a pastel green with white little flowers on. So we've got a piece of that. A famous person. Well, I've got this picture of the Queen when she was a princess as part of the Territorial Auxiliary in 1945. So, famous person. Something you can see through a window. Well, I thought that I would go obscure here and I would be looking in from an outside of a window rather than the other way round. A postcard or a letter. Well, I've got these two prints of letters. So, I'm not quite sure which one of those I'll be using yet. Um, and a date. Well, obviously, we've got a date written here because this is March 1945, October the 13th, 1940. So, we've got a few dates on there. So, that covers what we require. But I've also, because these all seem to be wartime, I've brought along this image I've got of um, the Will's cigarette cards. And this one is about protecting your windows and, you know, your doors. And this one here about gas masks. So I just thought maybe we could add those in. And I've got this lovely mottled green as my background page. Don't ask me why I've slipped into the 1940s and wartime. Because I have no idea. It was just the way the colours came together and the pictures that I found. So I suppose I could have chosen a pop star or something and been very sort of bright and vibrant but somehow it didn't feel right today I don't know why but there you go and I mean I've been saying every day on my videos for well at least a week now how it's a glorious day and it's all bright and sunny and today I'm talking to you from a grey overcast very wet day um, which basically has disturbed the entire night's house the entire household's night there you go i can get my words out just about um yeah absolutely horrible night we had um the rain became a storm which upset the dog which obviously then kept everybody awake just absolute craziness so nobody's had much sleep the place is all sopping wet and miserable and yet it's still amazingly warm so I've got my windows open but I think because of the damp there won't be many people around so we should be good for not having street noise even though I've got the windows open with a bit of luck anyway although the other thing is the postman's not been yet so that's something else that will probably upset Boo in due course. But we'll see how we go. So, enough of my moaning. I trust everybody is happy, safe and well. Oh, that's empty. Managing to get some oh, crafting done. It's all good, yeah. I think when I was here with you last week, I was talking to you about the uh, Rustic 7 challenge that I'd agreed to do with the lovely Mel over at Treasured Page and um, there was a bit of a hiccup in her parcel arriving it did arrive and I obviously recorded what I did um, and I have commented on her video already but I, I'm just absolutely amazed I was a little bit mean, really, in what I sent her. They were non-craft items, which, you know, was the brief. But they were um, 
quite obscure and yet well she just absolutely wonderful wonderful tag she did so i think in that respect it was a true challenge really challenged her but wonderful yeah so just goes to prove how with technically nothing you know general household items you can create something wonderful and i think this is another thing that a lot of collaging teaches you because you're layering up and layering up and as long as you've got some cohesion in colour and that doesn't actually fit on the page which is very annoying because I didn't necessarily want to have to put it sideways but I don't think I've got a choice so maybe we'll do it all sidewards so that it can be viewed as it were like that the right way yeah i think that's an option so we need a bit of this so yeah just as i say it goes to prove that you can create something wonderful with absolutely nothing now i'm thinking i want this fabric in two places so I'm thinking I want a top area sort of like that so we've got a nice oh, she says it's not going to tear that way of course is it never does because we talked about this before the weft and the waft it only um there we go it only tears easily one way but I would like a nice ruffled edge. So let's trim some of this out. It's a bit too rough, isn't it? <laughs> Even by my standards, that's a bit too rough. Um, and I have finished the mini lace journal now. So I'll be getting that in my Etsy shop either today or tomorrow. Hopefully this afternoon. Because I know there are a few people... As I suspected, that felt the big lap book one didn't quite fit with their budget. So I did advise that there would be a smaller version coming out. And yeah, that's now finished. So that will be coming out. Well, I've just finished saying there'll be no noise in the street. And then, hey presto, as if by magic, there's noise. Should have kept my mouth shut, really. Anyway, I sound like a right grumpy what's it today, don't I? And I'm not because, I mean, I had a lovely day out yesterday. Um, I went and saw a friend of mine that I've not seen since, or oh, before the dreaded lockdown. So we had um, lunch out and caught up, put the world to rights, you know you do. So yeah, I think I want that one there so we've got as it were the two corners then I think I want to lay this there or actually do we want to make that our center topper that could actually be our center topper there you go and then we can look at these things around it so I'm gonna cut this one I think oh no I've already torn it that side Goodness me, I'm dithering, aren't I? Um, so, yeah, we had a good day. Um, and she lives a bit of a way from me, so it gave me the chance to <clears throat> go and visit some charity shops that I wouldn't normally see. Now, the only problem is that picture's too big, so now we're not seeing it. So I think we have to go more sort of that way so we're gonna to have to put that as it were off centre but I think I can live with that there's Bo you see come to say hello to you all she's a right grumpy madam at the moment don't quite know why I think probably like the rest of us she's a bit tired Doesn't like people keep disturbing her sleep she does sleep quite a lot, does that dog? Mind you, they all do. Apparently. Um, between 
10 and 16 hours a day. Something like that, anyway. So, yeah, there you go. So, you find out all sorts of unnecessary information on this channel, don't you? <laughs> all sorts of stuff you didn't need to know comes to light on my channel. And you're probably going, yeah, okay, Claire, whatever. <laughs> Look, you see? It's just, it's just life. Okay. You know what? If we're going to be viewing it that way, let's turn it round that way. What a, what a novel idea that is, Claire. <laughs> okay, what else have we got here? We've got another... See, and part of the reason I pulled this one out is because I thought that stamp was the same colour as that. So I think I am going to want to use this. But I think what we're going to do is just to use part of it. So let's see how we get on doing this. Um, now, I'm always supposed to tell you a story, aren't I, when I do these? Um, so let's have a little think. A story. Well, I can't tell you much about wartime because, well, I wasn't here. Um, I was not bonded, as they say. But what I probably could share with you is... Um, should we turn that one round that way now? There you go. Um... I could share the story of my mum and dad and how they met. <laughs> Why do you care? I oh, know you don't care. But it just gives us a little bit of something to chat about, doesn't it, while we're doing this. And my mum was um, coming home from work, travelling on the London Underground. And my father, who was in the army, which is why I'm thinking about this picture, um, leant across and asked her hello would you be Italian <laughs> and uh, my mum was a true east well is a true east ender so she obviously set him in his place but of course that got a conversation going and yeah, things obviously progressed from there. Um, apparently, every night that she got on the train from work, he was already sitting in the carriage. That's dedication for you, isn't it? So yeah. Move on. Okay. And I think I might sort of put that across there. We can't really see that lady too much anyway. So I think I'm going to put that one over there. And I might tuck this gas mask one in the other side. <clears throat> I think part of the reason I ended up with this picture is because obviously... Everyone's talking about the Jubilee at the moment. And is it next week or the week after? We've got the... Here in the UK, we've got the four-day weekend. Bank holiday weekend. Um, to celebrate the Jubilee. And there's all sorts of things going on. Um, so, yeah. Perhaps that's why I'm thinking about the Queen today. And I need to obviously get rid of that broken point. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to put that under there and just tear that edge off like so. There we go. Get rid of those pieces. And I think we're just going to pop that. On there. We can't see hardly any of this background paper, can we? It wasn't really worth it, was it? Right. 
There we go. I think I'm quite happy with that. Oops, sorry, I've just bashed the camera. If you've got, all got a headache now, I do apologise. So let's pull these out and get this fabric stuck down and then we can move from there. In fact, I'm wondering if I'm moaning about not seeing this background. Do we only have this one larger piece of fabric at the top? Not have the uh, one down this bottom corner because it would give us more background. Okay, <clears throat> so this one is going to sit there, isn't it? So let's glue that up. Well, there you go. That's all the story I've got for you today. Short and sweet, but quite relative. And West Indies is where my father came from. So there you go. That's um, quite relevant as well, isn't it? Do you know what? We could reduce this picture a bit. That would make a bit of difference as well, wouldn't it? Because we could pop that there. So. And obviously if I'm highlighting this stamp being similar to this background, then I do want... Um, to see some of the background otherwise it's not going to highlight it at all is it right now this one I believe went about there so that one's going to go about there. This one went on top, didn't it? So it's going to go up the top there. Like, whoops. So, also, whilst this is not vintage fabric, it's a new piece of fabric, I think it's got um, a very vintage style about it. So it sort of goes with this. <clears throat> sort of aged era as it were so that works quite well as well and then we're going to put Her Majesty just about I want to see that bit of fabric and that background and then our pictures of our windows will go across there I think like that yeah okay so let's glue this bit up and then we're a bit done and another week bites the dust it's amazing how um, these Thursdays and Fridays because obviously it's postcards home on Friday it's amazing how quickly these seem to roll round right let's pop that about there like so and then I need to glue this but obviously I don't want to glue that on the table so I'm just bring in this picture here and glue this up Okay, and then that will go about there, like so. So we have got some green poking through from the back now, which makes me a little bit happier. Stick that down, I've got another little corner here. And it's the first one that I've done on the um, 
landscape like that rather than portrait and I do think I quite like it actually I'm just wondering if I want another little piece of fabric here see that's because in my mind's eye I was originally going to do two pieces wasn't I I'm just wondering if we no, leave it alone, Claire. Leave it alone. You're happy with the way it is. Yeah, I am. I'm happy with that. So, we just need to ink up our... Here's the ink. Where is my dobber? There it is. Just ink up the label. Get that on the back. And that's another job. Job. Another week bites the dust, as they say. I feel like I'm really waffling today. <laughs> Hold on. So, let's open, flip that over. You got two pages? I really often end up with two pages when I do this. No. So let's just bring this back, pop some glue on this, and oh, make sure it's at the right way, Claire, that's no good, is it? Doing it upside down, and there's our lamp oh, look at that, 20 weeks already, bear in mind, it's only 52 weeks in the year. That means we're almost halfway through. Can't believe that. Anyway, so there is my week 20 page. I'm going to call it a look at wartime. There you go. As always, it's been great to have me with you. Uh, have you with me? Goodness me. Stay safe. Happy crafting. I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.